You have likely seen supposedly ordinary people around town and wondered, could they secretly be rich? The reality is, you probably can't tell just by outward appearances. Not all wealth looks like Beverly Hills mansions and shiny Lamborghinis. Some of the wealthiest people look surprisingly average or even frugal. Warren Buffett walks around in sweats and sneakers. Mark Zuckerberg drives a Volkswagen hatchback. Sam Walton bought clothes at the dollar store. You'd never guess these are billionaires by superficial judgment. Next time you see someone well put together but not flashy, they may be secretly rich. The richest person in the room is often the most humble. And the truth is, the rich don't always flaunt their money for good reason. In fact, stealth wealth is often the smartest wealth when it comes to protecting assets, maintaining motivation, living simply, and making an impact that matters. Today we'll unpack the eight key reasons the wealthiest people frequently look surprisingly average and what lessons we can apply to our own lives. Find out why riches often live quietly in plain sight. The secrets of those with the most to lose reveal the habits we all should emulate to attain sustainable financial freedom. Reason 1. Don't need to impress anyone. They have inner confidence and self-esteem beyond materials. The wealthiest among us generally don't feel a strong need to impress people with flashy shows of supposed status. They have inner confidence and self-esteem not contingent on wearing expensive clothes or driving luxury cars. Billionaire investors like Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger project humility through their modest appearances and lifestyles despite having incredible means. They focus their mental energies on continuing to learn and make prudent decisions rather than conspicuous consumption. An example is Ingvar Kamprad, founder of IKEA. Despite his billions in personal net worth, he was known to fly economy class, eat lunch in the company cafeteria daily, and drive older, simple cars. He didn't feel external validations of wealth important. For the a lot of people, this is an important realization. We should not feel pressure to appearances richer before we actually attain sustainable assets and net worth. True confidence, self-worth, and happiness come from within, not our possessions. Health, family, intellectual growth, and making a positive impact are higher pursuits than showing off. The more we find gratitude and joy in non-material aspects of life while steadily building financial freedom in the background, the faster that freedom will arrive. Patience while ignoring what others may think about us based on clothing labels, cars, or titles paves the road to riches unseen. Reason 2. Frugality never goes out of style. Those who built wealth from little remain prudent spenders. Many financially wealthy people today emerged from modest or even impoverished beginnings earlier in life. As they built fortunes through grit and savvy investments, they retained spending habits from those formative humble roots. A prime example is Warren Buffett, currently one of the wealthiest men in the world with a net worth over $100 billion. Yet he still lives in the fairly average house in Omaha, Nebraska that he bought back in 1958 for $31,500. And he enjoys McDonald's breakfast rather than lavish fine dining on most days. This frugality partly comes from discipline instilled growing up without excess. He learned the merits of judicious saving and spending from a young age. But Buffett also understands that moderate wealth better aligns with valuing all people equally regardless of class. He once said, I happen to have a talent for allocating capital, but my ability to use that talent is completely dependent on the society I was born into. If I'd been born into a tribe of hunters, this talent of mine would be pretty worthless. So while Buffett could buy practically any mega mansion or luxury vehicles, he deliberately chooses a middle class lifestyle. This reminds those around him its relationships, intellectual growth, and making a difference that provide true happiness, not materialism. We would all do well carry a bit of that mentality. Reason 3. Don't want wealth to change kids. One reason the rich intentionally appear poor and live modest lives is to avoid the risks of children developing affluenza. The term was created to describe the unhealthy mindsets and actions that can develop in kids who grow up very wealthy. Affluenza can cause children of the rich to feel entitled, be unable to delay gratification and strive for external validation through status symbols versus intrinsic self-worth. The abundance of options without work requirement or boundaries makes it hard to develop perseverance, resilience, and wisdom around money. Parents hope that by not showering kids in the trappings of luxury living, it instills more prudent financial habits. For instance, members of Sam Walton's Walmart Empire clan intentionally remain out of the public light, driving older cars and living simple lives. This reportedly is to avoid distorting the next generation's values so they don't solely aspire for riches and fame. Setting healthy boundaries and expectations around earning rather than overindulging can nurture the internal locus of control and intrinsic motivation where real-life success stems from. Reason 4. Stay hungry and motivated. Billionaires could easily retire decades early and relax for the rest of their lives. Yet many choose to continue grinding away growing their empires. Why? In part because staying hungry and having more to prove keeps them motivated and focused. Complacency is the enemy of sustained success. 
A great example is Thomas Boone Pickens. Even into his 80s, with a net worth estimated at 950 million from his fossil fuel conglomerate, he woke up early and put in 80 plus hour work weeks. In interviews, Pickens claimed he'd go crazy without having business challenges to solve. This demonstrates that regardless of your current net worth or career stage, hunger and humility move the needle. Retirement is not some magical end goal. Having ongoing projects and problems that energize you creates purpose and meaning. We should avoid just going through the motions waiting for financial freedom too. By staying hungry, avoiding complacency traps in your field, and keeping an openness to continue learning, opportunities emerge. Seek out challenging, engaging work rather than easy comfort. Reason 5. Success should be low-key. Many of the most financially successful believe that true wealth and accomplishment should be low-key rather than showy. Operating with humility, driving fancy cars, or flaunting riches is seen as lacking class and refinement. It also risks complacency by believing you've made it. Genuine success is quiet confidence, mastery of craft, and continuing to push limits. Not external signals like job titles or square footage lived in. Those with the most resources to flaunt riches deliberately choose subtlety instead. Judge yourself based on your own standards, not society's material signals. Authentic self-worth beats luxury aesthetics. Reason 6. Wise saving grows into abundance. The mega-rich understand the power of patient, disciplined saving and investing over decades to build substantial wealth. Resisting spending everything you earn and instead consistently storing away 10, 20 or even 50% of your income grows into abundance in time. For example, Elon Musk's path to wealth through savings and his strategic investments and the success of his entrepreneurial ventures like PayPal, Tesla and SpaceX. They were driven by innovative ideas and a relentless pursuit of success. His initial windfall came from the sale of Zip2, an online city guide software he co-founded. Instead of spending that money lavishly, Musk used a significant portion to found X.com, which eventually became PayPal. When PayPal was acquired by eBay, Musk received a substantial payout, further boosting his financial position. Later, Musk invested heavily in SpaceX and Tesla, leveraging his financial gains from earlier ventures to fund and support these groundbreaking companies. Even small sums consistently saved and invested over 20 odd plus years can compound into fortunes for those with patience and wisdom. Save and invest early and often instead of waiting for excess cash before you contribute. As assets and equity build in the background over decades, you gain not just wealth but the freedom and flexibility to make bolder decisions from a stable foundation. Delayed gratification pays exponential dividends down the road. Reason 7. Gratitude is more powerful than materialism. The truly wealthy understand that happiness and fulfillment do not stem from material possessions, but rather gratitude for health, family experiences, knowledge, and making a positive contribution. Things come and go, but inner contentment beats fleeting status symbols. Oprah Winfrey once perfectly summed this up. Be thankful for what you have, you'll end up having more. If you concentrate on what you don't have, you will never ever have enough. She credited this mindset shift for her success more than sheer net worth. Avoiding the temptation to compare yourself to others' status symbols and appearances is freeing. Focus on personal development. Deepen bonds with others. Tune out advertisements feeding materialism. Find ways to contribute time and money to causes bigger than yourself. Happiness based on ephemeral things quickly fades. Happiness rooted internally in growth, family, and service persists regardless of account balances. Gratitude over materialism sets you up for joy today while steadily building wealth for tomorrow. Reason 8. Don't believe money defines them. While having abundant financial resources provides more options, the world's wealthiest understand that money itself does not define who they are at their core. Their self-worth and identity extend deeper than net worth. Billionaire investors see money as primarily a tool for independence, security, contributing to causes and legacy. But their self-esteem and intrinsic motivation stem from the craft of allocating capital wisely. They would likely still be passionately engaged in business without the billions in the bank. Our jobs and careers do not equate to our human value and dignity. Practicing our skills diligently, solving problems, building relationships, these provide meaning and purpose. Wise management of money enhances freedom to pursue activities we love. But make sure your internal emotional validation doesn't depend on hitting certain income or net worth targets. Don't believe commercials implying you'll become a better person by driving a certain car or living in a house with five bedrooms. Find inner confidence beyond materials. While steadily building assets over decades, don't make money the sole finish line. Enjoy the journey of mastery. Money affords more impact, but impact also begets money when coming from an authentic place. Your core identity goes far beyond dollars. The core mindsets and habits that create sustainable wealth for the rich can be modeled by those of more modest means as well. Avoid debt, plan for the long term, spend judiciously, appreciate non-material joys in life, 
and continually increase your financial knowledge. Implementing even a few of these principles now sets you well on the path towards future financial freedom, even if you don't look immediately rich. It's not always about flashy status symbols and pampered luxury when you have abundant assets and passive income. Protecting privacy, optimizing taxes, giving kids perspective, and avoiding complacency all play key roles. So next time you see someone at the grocery store or walking down the street wearing simple clothes and assume they aren't wealthy, think again. Some of the richest people hide in plain sight. Now I'd love to hear your thoughts on this phenomenon of stealth wealth. Have you noticed seemingly ordinary folks in your community and wondered if they secretly had millions in assets? What most surprised you about how the rich think differently around lifestyle choices? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, please subscribe to our channel for more finance content aimed at opening your mind, sparking thoughtful discussions, and helping you ultimately take control of your financial trajectory.